We're building the flying machine rocket and our next step is to put in the motor mount in the back end. So previously we have glued up the engine mount and now it is time to glue it into the tube. Now we got all this excess shock cord and we don't want to push it into the tube so we're going to actually shove it inside of the engine mount so that it stays out of the way. And in fact, if you can, pull it out the back end. Uh, and what this does is make sure that you don't get any glue on the shock cord. All right. Um, so this is pretty easy to glue in. So it's going to go into the tube like that where the aft end is, let's see, is it flush? Let me check my instructions. <laughs> yes, it's flush. So the back of the tube is flush with the back of this tube. Um, so then when it goes in, it's going to go in that deep, which appears to be, it's almost four inches. So three, 3.75. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to take a wood dowel and I'm going to mark it at about 3.75 inches right there. So then I'm going to put glue right here and I'm going to shove it in the tube and then smear it around and you'll see that I keep the mark outside of the tube. Now that way I know that the glue line is in the right spot. So now here's the trick here. You got to keep this rotating like that because if you don't, it's just going to ooze down and it's going to drop on your table. So keep it rotating and then put it in there and then just start smearing it around. And I'm going to do it a second time to get some glue in there. Keep it rotating. Okay, so there's no glue on the dowel, which is good. Now we're going to put it in part way like that. And then we're going to put glue on the, just on the inside edge. Let's see if I can get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm not doing a very good job of getting it on the table. This is the messy one. You can see I got it all over my glue bottle. Okay, so take your finger and smear it around. There's a lot of glue in there, that's fine. And now we push it in, and you can feel it going into the glue. And it doesn't matter which end you do it in, just push real hard until it's flush. All right, right there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to put another fillet of glue around this outside here. Got to open the glue bottle first. <laughs> Don't have it everywhere, but uh, I gotta smooth it out. I get a fillet of glue all the way around. Probably go around a couple of times. Make sure I got it spread out. Oh, that looks really good. Just like that. All right. So we're just gonna sit, wait, and let this dry. Uh, and then our next step in the construction of the flying machine is to mark the body tube for the location of all the fins. From the uh, parts pack, locate the tube marking guide, and we're going to cut it out. I'm just going to use a hobby knife here. You can use the scissors, it doesn't matter. Okay, 
just like that. Take some masking tape and wrap it around the tube like that and line up the little tick marks right here so that we know that it's straight. All right, and then you need the other two. And we've already glued the bulkhead in. And this is going to go into the tube. And we're also going to put a little piece of tape right here on this so that it can't rotate. If you put the tape on hard enough. All right, and then one final piece of tape. We're going to slide it down to the near the end of the tube and just tape it in in place so that it can't it can't shift on us. And we're going to take a pencil and we're going to draw a tick mark by each of the arrows. And as you do it, label it. So I'm putting F for fin. And this is pod for P for pod. Fin. This one says vertical tail. So I'll put a T for tail. Fin, pod, and fin. All right. The next thing is, oops, one more. Launch lug. Launch lug. OK, now I'm back all the way around. And I'll take this off, and we have to draw a line on the tube for each one of these. And I forgot my angle, so I'm going to pause here, grab my angle, and then I'll show you how I draw the lines on there. Okay, I'm back. I've got my channel. It's basically an aluminum angle. Um, I get these down at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, somewhere like that. Uh, they have these pretty nice. Um, and I like the long ones because you know, when I got a really long tube, it goes from end to end. Okay, so now the tail this is my first one. And I know the tail, I don't need a line down the whole thing because it's just, well, actually I do because the uh, canopy, which goes up here, is right in line with the tail. So I do need a line um, all the way along the tube, at least most of it. And on the front end, I'm also going to put T for tail. I'll just write it all the way. I just wrote tail on there. Um, so now I can line it up if it ever gets crooked. Um, and I got the fin, and I know the fin goes all the way up because I got a canard. The canard is in line with the fins. There's four fins and four canards. The canard is a French term for duck because uh, ducks have these little feathers that stick out of their neck. That's where the word canard comes from. Now, the pods don't need to go up all, nope, they don't need to go all the way up along the tube. At least I don't think they do. Um, yes, actually they do. <laughs> all the lines except for maybe the launch lug. Because what goes up here on the pod line is um, the portholes. They go on the side of the rocket. And another fin. Yep, broke my pencil. Launch lug. Let me double check. Nope, the launch lug only stays near the bottom. You can run it all the way up to if you want. In fact, if you look on the rocket here, we have this gingerbread detail, I call it, because it's just decoration. And that's in line with the launch lug. So it doesn't hurt to run it all the way up to the, to the front. I 
another fin. one is the fin. Okay, so I'm just marking it in a lot of different locations so that I know what each line is. It's a good idea to do. Use a pencil, don't use a pen. Um, if you use a pen, um, the solvents in your paint could dissolve the ink and then the ink floats up to the surface or a pencil will always be hidden by your paint. So always use a pencil. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. We're building the flying machine. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Um, you can get it at the Apogee website, which is www.apogeerockets.com.